Is it recording now? That's up to your interpretation. My interpretation is that it is recording. Whoa, mate, that's crazy. I think, Wait, my, so prediction was, I think my prediction was pretty accurate to what's what, what happened. This isn't going to go in the video, is it? It depends. How should I edit this? Should I have, like... Should I animate us at a desk? And our face just, like, continually talking? Well, how long is this podcast going to be? You just going to have to <laughs> animate us m- moving our mouths up and down in time. Just like, sitting over like... Just without twiddling our thumbs. <laughs> well, if you look, these are the characters I've used. They don't really have any thumbs. I don't know. Twiddling the stumps. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like... Irish bar fight. Put him up, sister. Put him up. S- oh, I can't do Irish. Can do an Irish accent. What accents can you do? Okay. Um. I'll do a Billy accent. Do 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 do. Hello, welcome to the Beam Kids. No, it's pathetic. <laughs> You're bad at doing your own accent. interpretation. <laughs> All right. It's really That's disappointing. Up. You know well, that was the I'm intro. Do not... you know what interpretation I'm not bad at? Me. For that for. <laughs> okay, before we're gonna get that, we're gonna talk about David Bowie because oh, he, yeah, he David... died. He did die. He did die. Cool guy. I um watched the Zoolander the other day. Oh yeah, and he's in it. Yeah, I was like, he judged the thing. I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, I, I've I've seen I've seen that scene, but nothing else with the movie. And all I know is that Ben Stiller is a freaking cocky um, male model and Owen Wilson is like his rival or something. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a funny movie. Although the trailer to the new one was sort of unfunny. It was like a cool lead up and then it was like, oh my God, it's another Zoolander movie. But then it was just not funny from there on out. Yeah. I was surprised to see Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And who else is in it? Like some other people. Uh, I, re- no, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't but know. Someone any... really, someone really cool, and then it was just Justin Bieber, and I was like, ugh. Poor Justin Bieber. Does he deserve all the hate he gets? Yes. Does he though? When he was like, when he was younger, did he deserve it? When he was just, you know, doing. I don't know. Thing? Apparently, he's gotten better, but like, you know, y- y- you can't expect much from people when you call a. Like a fourteen-year-old girl, a whale, at like a public pool, and I'm like, oh my god, can I have your autograph? And he just calls them a whale. He calls them a whale. Excuse me, I identify as a kangaroo. I make, I take that very offensively. I identify myself as successful. <laughs> this is like the homeless guy on the street. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm, we don't really have many homeless people around where we live. Yeah, I don't see many. I, I'm. I'm sure I have seen plenty. It's just because, um... There's just very... You know, stereotypes is like, you know, changed our <laughs> view like, on things. Like, you'd expect a homeless person to be, you know... I had you see them in the city. I have. Cause and I've those seen... do meet the stereotypes, actually. Some yeah. Some of them. Uh, I, was, I was kind of, like, half torn because I saw this, like, homeless girl asking for money, but she had, like, a cat in, like, a stroller. And I just wanted to run up and just, like, pat, pet the cat. But then I'd have to give money, and I didn't have any. You're a terrible person. This person <laughs> lets you pet their cat and you don't give them money. No, 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 no. I was like, <laughs> if I pat this cat, I'm going to have to give them money. But I really want to pat this cat. So I didn't pat the cat, but I had that urge to run across the street and pat the cat. Right. Or maybe just like take the stroll up with the cat. <laughs> and that's how I got kitty. Oh, now that explains a lot. Uh-uh. Actually, poor kitty. Like this neighborhood, all this like we've got like three new people have moved into the houses around this neighborhood. All of them have cats, and all of them run just walk into our house, and kitty is constantly being attacked by all these other cats. You know, the other day, my dog Ralph, I was what was I doing? Right, I was. Oh god, I have to even go further back. So, for my birthday, I got. This thousand piece puzzle, it's a thousand piece puzzle, um, jigsaw puzzle of What's Tintin in China, and I, I still haven't finished it. It's really difficult because half the bloody photo is just plain 
sky blue and plain grey because you know there's a road and like the road is just pl- blank grey and um yeah so I was getting this massive tray thing from my dad's truck and I took it out of the truck and I opened the gate and Ralph just jumps out and there's like this greyhound walking past and he just starts full on going at its throat really and, and like I, biting it biting it yeah so I literally have to pick him up by the neck and th- I threw him over the fence. You threw him... You literally, like, your tall fence. Like, two meter fence. Yeah. Wait, is it two meters? Well, um, because, like, there's... You know, there's, like, a couple steps up to my, 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 my gate. I threw him over that. Okay. He well, landed pretty gracefully, but, like, scared the absolute balls out of me. And I had to, like, apologize so much to the owner. And I was very embarrassed, to say the least. I've never done any... Right, so you just grabbed him and just threw him over. Pretty much. That's, like, that's actually pretty cool. Did you, like, just pop I him to over? Did, whole, you, did, I, you, I, did you fall and go... <sighs> no, it was more of like a... <laughs> I, like, did, like, a basketball shit. Was the other dog okay? Yeah, it was fine. It was pretty flustered. And so was the owner. But... You couldn't have done he, that he, much damage. Ralph is pretty small. Yeah, but he's quick. He's quick. Yeah, um... Rosie has cuts over her ear. He... He's the... He... He has bipolar, that dog. He... he he's the happiest thing until... It's you know, something animal. weird happens and then, like, he'll be at someone or something's throat. Generally, another dog's throat. And I, I have to do that all the time. I have to pick him up by the neck and, like, smother him with a pillow or something. How do you... T- do you does he know it's bad? I get the impression, because he, he, he's scared shitless of me when I'm angry. He's absolutely terrified of me when I'm angry. But he just keeps doing it. Pets can be just little shit sometimes. Yeah. Like... Kitty, she knows that she's doing something wrong. She just doesn't care. Until you get the hose. Or she sits up on the Avery. On top of the Avery. And to get her down, we just spray her with the hose. Oh. I thought you said something else. What, we get until, a- we get, until we get all the hose. What? What? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Moving on. What? What? I have an Jack, idea. What is my your... innocence. What is... Excuse me. What is your musical preference? My musical preference? Of what? Bands, genres, whatever. Ugh. I listen to the most obscure <laughs> internet YouTube songs. Really? Yeah. So well, I would say novelty. they're not all the me obscure, but when I do listen to music, I like listen to Monster Cat. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Monster Cat. Monster Cat. System of a Down. Uh, is that Monster Cat? Sounds like it could be a Moscat song. No, it's it's a band. N- you know, System of a Down. These no, guys. System of a Down. Of a uh, Down. Ah, copyright. <laughs> well, we're not recording. The screen. It's just... Um, oh, yeah, that's true. It's just audio. That is true. I keep forgetting that. We're just not used to podcasts. Oh, yeah, it's a podcast. Welcome to the people, kids. Uh, this is a podcast! Hooray! Hooray! That was our 8 minute and 50 second long intro. Yeah, that, that was... just shows how long this video is going to be. Unless everything after the um, intro is really short. Hmm. I got this snazzy new speaker. Look how small it is. It's a bloody keychain, that's what it is. Yeah, I know. It's really bad because it always cuts off, like, randomly. See, you got it from Typo. There's your problem. There's your problem. <laughs> Can imagine, like, there's a technician looking at, like, the government computing system. And, like, they're trying to launch the nukes. And he goes, there's your problem. Your nuke was made in Typo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Typo. My dad did a sign for Typo. Did they? For the, which type of the... My dad makes neon sign? signs. Australian neon signs. Product placement. It's not really product, but it's a company. It's a family company. Wait, wait. We should do... Do you know like podcast was like sponsored by Tupperware containers? It's That's just sponsored by Australian neon signs. Sponsored services. by dad. Sponsored by my father. Father! father! 
That was two well times. Things. Well timed. Well, sometimes I just in my room and I just realize I have a badass room. Apart from that shelf. Well, you do have the goblet of fire over there. <laughs> Along with my sick Ninjago Ooh. watch. Hilo. Kylo Ren, that's the one. Yeah. Ooh, and. Vault Dweller. If you're wondering what Jack's got, he's got a. Um, Fallout 4 bobblehead that he hasn't opened. No, because once you take it out of the packaging, it loses all, loses all worth. Also, <laughs> wait a sec, I'll be right back. I'm just going to get something. Billy, don't leave me! Um, uh, um, I got this. Oh, nice! Dude, I got the, I got the new one. You so, the, Billy's holding the, the Walking Dead Compendium 1. Yes. Right now, I am. I cannot express how much I love the comic books. Uh, I fucking hate the TV series, but I love the comics. They just... They should follow... The comic books is already the, like, storyline. It's already... Do you know how, like... But they don't make... follow, which is which is understandable, I suppose, so people won't see stuff coming. But, like... Jesus. Uh, where am I at? Where I'm around I? here. I'm around here. This so what part? What part? Yeah. Well, they've gotten into the prison, and they're just clearing it out right now. Oh, and they've right, met yeah. the... Um, Dude, things cool. change so much. Compendium 3 is so different from the first two. But, like, at the very end, you're just like, things are going well. And then, like, the last couple pages, it just gets progressively, progressively worse until this one um, image was just incredibly well drawn. And you're just like, no! Oh, God, I'm terrified. I know somewhere in this book, something, everything goes to shit. No, Compendium 3. Oh, okay. Do you have the second one? No, no, this is my first one. You know, by just looking at the cover, you can tell all the people that are going to survive. Mm. That are most likely going to survive. Okay, guess. Because you wouldn't put them on the cover if they were, weren't important enough to stay around. Well, point out who, who you think is going to survive. Well, I think is going to survive. Mm. That's a given. I somewhat know what happens to her. How? Yeah. Oh, I've heard bits and pieces how, like, she thinks the baby dies or something. I've heard. I've heard rumours. Right. I want that, I think, the him to survive. Yeah, you, you want him to survive. He's a great character. He's a good character. Let's just say he meets an untimely demise. Nah, I just screw with you. I, don't, I can't tell with people. I can't tell when people like say what you think is a spoiler, and then they yeah, go, my, my oh, brother was doing happen. that the entire time when I was reading the book. He was just like, "Oh, by the way, he dies." Nah, I just screw with you. Or am I? <laughs> um, wait. I saw this vine from Bruce Teeth. It shows um, do you know Barbara? Barbara. No, do you not? Do you actually watch the podcasts? No. Okay. The headlight fluid one's the only one I've seen. Oh, I'm so wow. many funny ones. Anyway, um, she, um, do you know spoilers on the back of the car? On a oh yeah, spoilers. Yeah, she got one of them, and she goes, "Oh guys, check out my new spoiler." And on it, it says, "Snape kills Dumbledore." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. She's just got. She's the pun. Puns oh, what of the a, century. What a, what a clever, clever person. Anyway, we've been going for almost 14 minutes, and we haven't talked about Fallout 4. That's actually a record. We should actually, every podcast, we should have a time and see how long we, yeah. don't, we go without talking about Fallout 4. Talking about Fallout 4... I don't know where to start. <laughs> Me neither. It's such a small map, but big game. I don't know. Would you say the map's small? Because it's not no, I don't particularly think big. Well, it's not a big map. It's not compar compar comparable to some other maps. Like, the GDA map is significantly b bigger than that, I think. I mean, smaller than that. No. You can see Diamond City from, um, Sanctuary Hills. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Are you kidding me? It's just a stadium. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it from, um, Sanctuary Hills. Okay, you only need to show me that one time, but... I've never seen that before. I have. If you look in the distance, you can see it's actually pretty cool. I can even see the, like, the Brotherhood of Steel starship. Which I... Yeah, because that's a fucking big airship. What do you expect? But that's like on the other side of the map. Exactly. 
But it's not when you get right it's up. Massive. It's in the sky, Billy. No, man. The sky is the most visible thing. Wait, when you go right up close to it, it shouldn't be that big. It's like it's following me. Just like the moon. It's always following. <laughs> I don't think it's a small map. It's an, I don't think it's a particularly big map, though. Like, it's full of interesting stuff. Full map. Full map. Big or small. Seems... Feels smaller to me. I don't know. I think it's still pretty big. No, I'm not saying it's not big. I'm just saying... It's not. Big. Take a look at that, a look at that photo. It's pretty much doubled in size because of... Like, maybe, like, if maybe it's not as big, but it's more... It has more stuff in it. And there's, like, Certainly stuff Certainly fucking so. If you add all the other stuff, like, all the, in, like, locations that not in, in the Commonwealth, like, you know, mm. like, in buildings and caves and whatever... It's still a lot of fucking terrain. Yeah. No, I love that for, like, like you can, like, go find one place and you can't enter it. And then, like, before, before ages... Before we go anywhere, Fallout 4 is a flawed game. But it is the most perfect fucking game! I love it How's it, it flawed? So Wait, what, how's it flawed? What? This is so good. But was it flawed? How's it flawed? What's the flawed well, aspect of Fallout? Shite ton of bugs, but I can forgive it for that. But I just <laughs> fucking love it so much. I always have this bug where I'm just walking and suddenly I just see a car fall from the sky. Yeah. There was this bridge. It was like broken down. Yeah. But I don't know if the if the bridge was missing or if there were just floating cars leading to like the the actual intact bit of the bridge because it's like this drop off. But there was like cars leading up to this bridge which is in the, I don't know what was happening I was like is Maybe the bridge just missing or are the cars floating I can't tell yeah wait have you, ever, then, have you ever tried to make a new character instead of running to the vault you just run away yeah it doesn't have anything to spot yeah everything just dies but I've, I've what heard, if it became a ghoul what if there was like a complete new like, storyline you become the, a ghoul no it's like the game that we everyone plays is only like one of the ways the start could turn out you had like Four different, like you could become a ghoul, or you could become some sort of dolphin mutated squid thing. Have you seen those? Those dolphin sharks on the shore. Yeah. I have. Anyway, as I was saying before, you can go to at this when I first got Fallout. I found this one place and I couldn't pick lock the door because it was chained on the other side. And then last night I was playing, I climbed into a sewer tunnel, and I was climbing through. I killed all these raiders. I mean, looted this stuff. Went up and opened the door, and I went out that door that I couldn't go in at the very start of the game. <laughs> and I think things like yeah, that. Yeah, stuff like that happens all the time. And it was like, oh, that place. Sweet. There's one thing I do hate, though. It's Super Mutants. I really don't like Super Mutants. They're pretty cool. No, it's just the annoying. Funny. They're like, stupid human. <laughs> don't know how to fight. In superior to superior to Oh, wait, do you know Strong? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you would romance him. No. You can romance everyone except Codsworth, Strong, Nick Valentine? I don't know. That seems... So you can only va romance women? No, you can romance men as well. You can be gay, lesbian, bi, whatever. My aim is just to romance everyone. <laughs> Wait, Be the whore. <laughs> Be the whore of, of the, the Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Yeah. You should, like, what if, like, if you romance all your companions, like, random strangers will just go, oh, look at that. It's the whore of the Commonwealth. And they would refer to you as that whore. Everyone refers to me as, like, a hero because I blew up the Institute. I, I, yeah, I ended up doing that as well. I didn't... I had very mixed feeling because... I love the railroads so much. I'm so sad I didn't get to do, do anything with them. All I did with them was decode the Corsair chip. That's all I did. Yeah. 
Deacon is a fucking badass. I, I killed Deacon. You killed Deacon. He's the coolest character. I know. I just I killed each one of those. Men. I'm so sorry. And the game, Tom. And, oh. I, just, I just didn't like it when you got to a certain point in the Brotherhood. You just couldn't leave. I felt like they weren't. I tried to kill Alder Maxim, like while I was part of the Brotherhood. I wonder what happened if you look. <laughs> I I um. Did all the Brotherhood quests until I got the suit of power on and then just left. Wait, did you, um, find the, um, Liberty Prime? It's a big robot thing. I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't, I, yeah. I, I've seen photos and I was like, what the fuck, where, the where does cool, that come from? The cool thing, that's one of the cool things about saying the Brotherhood, you have to build Liberty Prime. It's pretty, pretty insane. It's pretty cool. It's, and he has, he actually has pretty good dialogue. Kind of good dialogue. Do, have we done a spoiler alert at all? Spoiler alert! I killed Sean. <laughs> Sean is in his, is 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 in charge of the institute, which is under the old IT building place near the river. Yarp. You build a teleporter to get in, and yeah, I wonder what, I wonder what the institute ending is. Uh, well, you destroy the Brotherhood, I, I know that. But do you, I don't think, I don't think the, um, they really have anything against the railroad, railroad do they? Yeah, of course they do. Oh yeah, I guess they do keep. I was suspected of being part of the railroad so many times, which I was managed to, like, weave my way through. Like, father was just so sceptical of me, but he put me in charge! And then, like, when I finally get to that climax where you're, um, trying to open that door, um, to... Get to the reactor. Yeah, get to the reactor room so we can blow it up. Like, I just see him there and I'm just like, ugh, fuck. So I go up to him and he's like, hi. And he's just like, what the fuck are you doing, you twat? And I'm just like, ugh. So, like, as, as soon, as I, him as soon like as I finish, him. finish, I just... Get Kellogg's pistol, which is the same pistol that killed um your wife in the game or your husband I know. or whatever. That's and so then cool. I, and then I killed Sean. I killed Sean. I just shot him dead in the face. That is so cool. I killed you with a weapon that killed your mother. Yeah. I wish it would have turned out differently with Sean. I did like that I get to keep he little robot. He was dying robot. anyway. I did like I get to keep little robot Sean. I probably saved him a lot of trouble. Like he would have like burned and become a radiant and like blah, blah, blah. It's like I'm killing you because I love you. <laughs> He was going to die anyway. But I felt so guilty. <laughs> Me too. Because, like, he trusted you so much. It's just that I hated the Institute so much. What did you hate about them in particular? I don't know. They were just too perfect. Oh, and I... and I, You, know. you suspected them or something? No. Do you know, wait. Just... Uh, where'd you find the cure? Did you find it in the Institute? You have to hack a door and then go in and then steal and then... Yeah, uh, you go in the room with the um, FEV virus. Would you not do I don't that? know. I just kind of like went in there, grab the thing, and went out. So uh, I have to do. That. I still have to do that. I've just been busy exploring. You've been blown up. <laughs> oh yeah. Virgil's just. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> you, you betrayed him. You said you were gonna find the kill. I was gonna find the kill. I'm never. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna go anywhere near him again. <laughs> I'm never gonna go any. I remember because I didn't have a high enough um hacking level, oh, so I couldn't get in there. So I just came back. I was like. Hi, Virgil. He's like, do you have the thing? No. <laughs> and he's like... Um, I always wondered, um, could you, like, do you know how you can do it in the real world and such? Yeah, yeah. Could you join the Church of the Atom? I don't know what that is. Didn't you? Don't you know what that is? No. No, no. Really? No. Don't you have to go through there to f find Virgil? You get you Virgil in the glowing sea. You meet the settlement of people. Oh yeah, I just I just said where's Virgil? Okay, bye. But I was wondering, could you actually join them? Pretty good. Be and become a religious fanatic. I I didn't really talk to them. I just said where's Virgil, and then just went off to find Virgil, and then because I didn't want to waste my fusion core mm. with my power armor. I feel like I've got so many 15. fusion cores now. Yeah, I've got a lot of fusion. Yeah, I don't I, think I don't like using now. them. Thirty. Yeah, something like that. I always find them. I. I kid you not, I found four fusion cores in one ammo box. Just, in, uh, just the green, green ammo box. And I found a fusion core in a trash bin, for God's sake. <laughs> Some guy that didn't know it was like, oh, what so, the fuck is this? Can I eat it? 
and tries to like ignore it. Nah, throw it, throw it, throw it away. <laughs> but I just fucking love Fallout so much. Perhaps what else? What else is coming out this year, though? Hmm? What else is coming out this year? I'm really looking forward to Uncharted Four. Because I felt like something was coming out this year, and I was looking forward to it, but I don't know what it was. I hope Valve makes a new game. Or I, don't know, I haven't made a game in like since, since... two thousand and Half Life Two Episode Two. Or Portal no, two. since Portal Two. I don't think. I think if they did make a Half Life Two Episode Three. Like, I don't think people would care anymore. Like, I would care, because I've just finished playing... People would care. If it's Valve, they would care. I don't know. Regardless, if it's Valve, they would care. Yeah. Like, just... people have gotten over the thought of, like, oh, Half-Life 3 and stuff like that, but when, once it comes out, everyone will be fucking excited. They'll, they'll play all the games again, and then they'll get back into it. Probably. I fucking love Half-Life. I need to get that mod where it just changes it all to the sounds of the guy going pew, pew, pew. <laughs> yeah, Stomp. Dylan told me about that. <laughs> um, I've been, I've just been, every day I've been searching for Fallout 4 multiplayer mods. It just... That'd be pretty cool. Sucks how they actually were going to have a multiplayer feature, but they didn't implement it. I reckon it would have screwed everything up. No, I didn't want it to be, like, permanently online. This just had an online thing that you could do. Like, have that, have the option. People can take it if they want. I was pretty excited for um, Elder Scrolls Online, but it turned out to be pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind, like... Like, how cool would it be, like, we just, we both burst into, like, a certain set of, like, enemy settlement with power armor and machine guns and stuff. That would be pretty cool. It would just make the experience so much better. Only multiplayer experience. Oh yeah, and I romance that robot girl. To the extreme? What to do you have to do? You just have to keep talking to her? Mm. Like, how do you romance? So you just have to keep... Just do stuff that they like. What does she like? Give me them da- dating tips for this robot. <laughs> um, I don't know, just be... Um, to people that's that's pretty much all i had to do because nothing else really worked i actually found this house that like, had like oh, yeah. romancing piper was really easy because i had a really high lock picking skill and she just like um like every time i pick a lock it was just like a piper like that piper like that piper like that she likes you putting them lock them keys and them locks i have my ways <laughs> I actually found this really weird, um, I was walking around, and I found this house, and I went in, and there's this guy standing there, and he had, like, four cats, and pictures of cats on his walls. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. Yeah, and, like, I could just take his stuff, and he didn't care. He was like, oh yeah, just take it. What about the radio guy? Diamond City radio I don't guy. listen to the radio much. I liked Fallout 3 radio, but he just... Every time, um... This song comes on. Oh, I can't remember the name of the song, but I just sing along to it. Bonga, 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 I don't want to leave the Congo. Na, 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 na. Burr, na, na, na. Something about na, 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 na. 50s music. Really charming. My dad was really surprised because I, I can't remember what song it was because it was a while ago. That song was on. I was like, oh, that's something, something, something by something, something, something. And he's like, what? Released in something, something, something. I was like, how do you know that? <laughs> See, video games teach. Teach, teach. you. Yeah. Yeah, my parents flip out whenever I put the um, classic rock radio on GTA. <laughs> I haven't played GTA. Actually, I have. I played with Leon a few days ago. Yeah, so did I. The game was way too laggy, so I just gave up and played Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Leon's internet's fault. What? The lag. Oh, his mum got, like, TPG internet. <laughs> so, it's just... The worst internet. That's pretty Kind of sad. This is the reason why it doesn't play Counter Strike anymore. <laughs> um, I've been, but I haven't also been playing a lot of um, Gary's mod um, Dark RP with Taj. Yeah, I don't have Counter Strike, so I don't have any of the textures and stuff. Yeah. I think in, there are ways of downloading textures without getting Counter Strike. Oh, I tried that once, but it just took way too long. Hmm. 
but it's actually pretty cool like once we um i created a concentration camp and he created like the anti concentration camp guys <laughs> and i like i built a team of like 10 guys and we had like a fort and then he had like his like juicistance juicistance yes <laughs> anyway i ended up being the only like nazi left and I was taken down, and I was converted to a Jew. They do that by just throwing one doll on the ground, and if you pick it up, you become a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> it's the initiation sequence. I took that bloody dime instantly. I always tell you when I was little, I wanted to be Jewish. What? When I was little, I wanted to be Jewish. I, I wouldn't have, like known anything about religion when i was a kid i didn't know what it was either i just knew i could go to religious thing and get out of um class <laughs> so i did it and i was like i went to this i oh, basically went to jewish chapel wow see that's how culturally cool i am mm. I, don't know about that. I don't know i think i know my culture pretty well like david got Godot- Oh yeah, David Otto. Yeah. I'm gonna Google that name quickly. I know he it doesn't like... exist, but David Guerrotto. Gu- Gu- David Guerrotto. David Guetta. David Grotto. David Curotto. David Guerrotto. David Guerrotto. See, he is just. I aspire to be him. <laughs> 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 All right, they can't see what's going on. Yeah, we searched it up, and it's just this. Wait, I take a it's screenshot. Just these two old guys sitting on like lawn chairs. Just yeah, like, that could act, that act could be all. us one day. They look so unhappy. He's just like, why do I have a Facebook page? <laughs> Fuck you. I like it how like in their profile picture, it's just the same. They're sitting in the same place. We can tell it's a different day because it's different light. <laughs> So that must be all they do. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is no shits were given. He's like, oh, I have a mustache. He sure does love his Diante do Trono Oficial. Is that? It's music. Mexican. Yeah, yeah. He makes such good music. Mexican. I don't know. He just. He looks Italian. Really? And that's definitely Italian. Diante do trono oficial. What gun do you think my four, four guy has? 10mm. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> it's clearly a 10mm pistol with a drawback action. Figure. Okay, you think of something to do. You think of, you think of something... You just keep talking and I'll find something funny to do. Mm, Did you see that? Ludicrous video on Boy Hub tonight? Yeah. <laughs> funny... Funny questions. Funny questions. Hundred interesting questions. To ask people. Okay. Okay, I don't want those uh, kind of questions. Um. Do you know any big gossips? I don't know. I know some pretty large gossips. Okay, tell me. Depends. Which how big of how big of the gossip do you want? I want the biggest gossip that gossip can ever gossip. Like 12 millimeter gossip? 12 millimeter gossip, yeah. Alright. Um, okay. Oh crap, we forgot one question. What was the last picture you took on your phone? Ah, uh, dick pic. I'm kidding. Do you know any big gossips? Ah, uh, I took a dick pic. Have you been <laughs> pulled over by a cop? Yeah, for taking dick pics. Do you know your heritage? Yeah, they took dick pics. What have you always wanted? Did you ever get it? Yeah, dick pics. What kind of sickness have you lied about so you wouldn't go to work? You don't go to work. <laughs> what was the last lie you told? Uh, I took a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever danced in the rain? Yeah, while taking dick pics. What is your blood type? Dick pic. <laughs> this is getting old very fast. Have you ever been in a car accident? No, actually. I have. Plenty of car accidents. Actually, two. That is plenty. What was the weirdest prank call that you have ever made? I've never made a prank call. Let's make one now. Okay, let's go. Let's see who should who should I call. Um, I 
cool Tosh. Okay. Tosh's the cool person. I don't know. And I don't absolutely. know if he, I don't know if this is his parents' um number or not. That could be quite controversial. Controversial. Oh. Yes. I could call. Well, I could call you Georgia. That, best compliment you have written. Best compliment <laughs> you have. Compliment you have received. Nice dick pic. Do you trust anyone with your life? Trust. Do you trust the person you've given your dick pics to? I suppose that's kind of yeah, trusting I, someone yeah. with your life. It is. Your job life, career life, anyway. Yeah. Just saying, just for the record, I haven't actually sent any dick pics or taken any dick pics. Just what they all say. Just saying. What is your greatest strength or weakness? Well, I... Too late! What is your perfect pizza? Oh, macaroni and cheese! No, that's not... No. Uh, che- macaroni... No. Um, um, bacon... No. Um, um, ham, cheese, and olives. There you go. What was the first thought when you woke up this morning? Shut up, mum! Do you get along with your family? Why or why not? I think the last question just kind of answered that. Ugly and live forever or attractive and die in a year. This question is relevant? That, that is a stupid question. Who would choose that? Who would actually choose that? Die in a year. No, I want to... <laughs> Fuck. Actually, maybe I might just do that So, because I don't want to live forever. And even though it's just a year, would that be better than living forever? I don't know. Like, I suppose so. If you're living forever. Like, you want to live forever. That's stupid. And plus, if, and you, if you did choose it, you can just get it, made Is it classic. eternal life or is it eternal youth? Because if, etern- if, if it's eternal life, then that you'd would just, suck. Yeah, you'd wither and just live as a pulp of skin and bone. Well, say it is eternal. Um, it's youth forever and I did choose it. I could just get plastic surgery. You could. Because after a while, if you're living forever, you'd probably end up having a successful business. That is true. You discover that your wonderful one-year-old child is because of a mix-up of the hospital and not yours. Would you want to exchange the child to correct the mistake? No! What if he's already died under my care? Well, that makes you a terrible person. Would you be willing to lie to a court for a close friend if that if it meant saving your friend from going to jail for life? Depends. What did you do, Jack? I sent one too many dick pics. <laughs> Would you be willing to eat a bowl of crickets for forty thousand dollars? Depends. In some countries, they that's probably a legitimate, you know, a delicacy. Yeah, maybe if you marinate it, have it in a nice stew, like put it in a blender, you know. Add some strawberries in there. I think it would taste quite nice. Yeah, I would. If you could any, if 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 you could have anyone locked in a room so that you could torment them for a day, whom would you choose? Add that's add a typo. And how would you torment them? Well, first of all, you're in my room. Second of all, we're making a podcast. This question is irrelevant. <laughs> Do you feel that children should be sheltered from unhappiness? Is there any happiness left in this world to be sheltered, non-sheltered from? That's deep. If you could have personally witnessed anything, what would you have... What, what would you want to have seen? Um, landing on the moon. I think that's the first genuine answer you've given. <laughs> if you could wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would you pick and what would you do? Someone from the opposite gender, because that'd be interesting. And what would I do? I would try and be them and not have anyone notice that they're acting weird. That's fair enough. If you could be any age for a week, what age would that be? I'd be 15. You're 15 in like a month. Yeah, so just so I know what it's like, so I can be ready. Fair enough. It's not that different, (laughs) I'm telling you. Well, I guess you get to watch things that my mum would go, No, you're too young. Cause who would believe you that you've aged a year? Well, not even a year, because you're almost 15 I don't know. anyway. If you did turn like significantly older, like 30, and your mum comes in and sees this 30-year-old... Yeah, that's like the movie Big. Yeah. The, no. kid, the kid wishes to be an, uh, an adult, and like his mum kicks him out, and he has to like go live by himself. 
you know how, how if you can move that mouth up slightly, it's Pac-Man? Or that nose up slightly, it's Pac-Man? What? See on that... L- oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The LG logo is what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... That's all I see when I look at it. How do you start a conversation? You uh, go... Th- this website. What keys on a keyboard do you not use? Um... I don't. Um... Um... The the numpad is very... Uh, end. And page down. Oh, I don't use them. Anything that's above the arrow keys, I don't use. That's true. I don't use the F8 and F10 and whatever. The Fs. <laughs> I don't use the Fox. What? If you had a brainwashing machine, what would you use it on? The president. Oh. That's controversial. <laughs> Instead of him, I'm sick of the government brainwashing us, and let's see how they feel. What is the strangest name someone has introduced themselves as to you? What is their real name? I met this twat called Tom. His real name was Jennifer. Where were you three hours ago? Oh, uh, how, how, how long has passed? Here, most likely. No. Ah! Uh, what happened to the website? What is ah, that? Ah, it's Donald Trump! Ah! Ah! He looks like some, Have you heard him when he says, um, I had a top upbringing, I had a small loan of yeah. a million dollars. It's like, bitch, nigga, you stuck. what now? Hey, what? Huh? Did you just use the N-word? No, I said, um... That's how we do it. Kitten. Ah, it's a cross button. There we... <laughs> legs. What? 20 most beautiful Kenyan women celebrities. Is anyone going to click on that? Uh, I'm sure many people uh, have. Uh, mm, uh, mm, have you noticed that in this, in these two copies, they're both black and they're both white? Yeah. God. That's silly. Wait, where were you three hours ago? Do you think someone was stalking you? That's what the question said. Okay, we're going to ignore that one. Have you eat ever eaten... Have you ever eaten a crayon or glue? Or what strange thing have you eaten? This person doesn't know. Hello. Uh, Hello. How are you? Who the very important person was? With the bike? <laughs> There's a bike at our house. It's Auntie Mary Ann. We're just going to pop off to take Mary back second. Hi, Jack. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I can do it quite well. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to take... We're going to go to St. Kilda quickly, and then I'll be back. Cool. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Sweet. Do you know, I have this weird new thing when I don't eat until three o'clock. Your thoughts? Fallout 4. No. <laughs> no, literally. The past four weeks... All I can think about is Fallout 4. I just love it. When you're much. asleep, you dream and you see yourself building your shelter. How cool would it be for your shelter you could find like an abandoned old vault door? That would be cool. Can you build a sh- Can you build stuff in a vault? I want no. That. But I always thought you should be able to actually build a vault. That'd be pretty cool. Well, that's what... What's its thing for? Well, one thing I don't understand. Um, the people in the century... Fallout shelter. Yeah. No, I the I was game. But... Hey, what I was going it? really well in that game, and then my file got corrupted, and then I threw my computer out the window. <laughs> yep. What do you use Skype on, then? My iPad. My Wait, freaking is Skype, five-year-old iPad. Is Skype actually on, um, PlayStation? No. Oh, yeah, it's a cool... Skype Wii was made in Estonia, fun fact. That's where I come from. Well, not me, but my family, heritage, whatever. I wouldn't well, be surprised. The longest you've gone oh, what type of music do you listen? System of a down. What cheers you up? System of a down. What do you constantly think about? It either makes you sad or just anything. System of a down. Is there something you constantly lose at your hours or any system of a down? Do you have a favorite book or read much? Oh, um, I got the complete big book of Hitchhiker's Guide, and I love oh, it so cool. much. Oh, that's cool. How much have you read? Because I've not finished the second book, and I'm sorry. Oh, um. I'd say I'm probably halfway through the first book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so clever. I just love it so much. Uh, it was just... It's... Oh. <laughs> it's sometimes a little bit hard to follow, though. 
Have you found that? So that's what I'm reading. I'm he has going... like these philosophical rants, like funny. <laughs> like he's just he's just typing and he's going, and then this happened, and this reminded him of this, and then he was wondering the meaning of life. Then he realized he didn't care. Yes. It's like typical. And then he asked for a cup of tea or something like that. And he retrieves a goblet of yolk. Yes. Space yolk. Yeah, but like those rants about like God and like the existence of God and stuff like, ooh, and then <laughs> I didn't I, find that that bit. I did like how it says um. In the beginning, they say a being created everything. This was regarded by every, everyone but as a bad move. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever wondered? I always try to think about it. I can never, I can never though. Um, like about how it, an actual alien would look like. And you have to get rid of the stereotypical yeah things. Like it can't be based off any hu- like any animals on Earth, mm. because it would have evolved completely differently. It would. have. I can't say, like, a squid, because the Earth. They are Earth. Do you know, it's actually really hard to sleep with that Vault Boy mask constantly looking down. I would imagine. Look at this. This looks like he's glaring at us right now. He's like, hmm. Okay. Was, uh... What is the longest you have gone without sleep? I've never done an all-nighter in all my life. Me neither, and I don't really want to, to be honest. Neither do I. Do you have Do you have anyone you go to for advice in person or online? Mother! Mother! What is the habit you are proudest of breaking or want to break? My fetish with Donald Trump. Is there anything I should know? That you have a fetish with Donald, Donald Trump. I had a fetish with Donald Trump. Why? Well, you know, I just found his views so despicable that, you know. It just turned you on. Yes, it did. That's creepy. <laughs> it is. It's making myself cringe just thinking of me doing that. What do you order or not order at a restaurant? Have you been to or never been to? Okay, let's just go for the first part. I've been having a lot of chicken palm dramas lately. Uh, Don't you like them? What is your favourite word? Least favourite. Um, bollocks! <laughs> it's just so much fun to say. What is your least favourite then? Um, I never really think about it, so I don't know. What word do I not like? They need to make a new word for girlfriend. No. And then they say, one of my friends, like, you're talking to someone, are you talking about, like, something that one of your... Why don't you say, my friend, who happens to be a girl? Yeah, I know, I think that's just too long. It's just annoying. No, you're just lazy. Yeah, I know. Humans are lazy animals. Did you not know that? Like, they are humans, typically lazy animals. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> and your point? Well, we well, can just make everything more. Efficient. Well, would you prefer to embarrass yourself in front of your family or whatever and say, "Oh, my girlfriend!" <laughs> Billy has a girlfriend. No, I don't. I don't. Um. Well, it's not that. It's just. It helps things be in context. What? By just saying a few extra words. Since that, is that... I don't know, like saying you? your, like... You have words for your friends who are male, and you have words for friends that you're female. Like, you call friends that are male, like... Gorbachev's. Your friends. Gorbachev's? <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? I don't just think of a random name, and you call, like, female friends Gorbachev's. No, you call them... Sing out my Gorbachevies. And white had a fucking time. Just stop talking. <laughs> Describe something that's happened to you which had no explanation. I lost David my... Bowie's death. I what? threw my teddy bear into the bungalow when I was, like, little. Well, my mum did, because we had to go somewhere. We came back for the holiday. 
nowhere to be seen. Huh? What did you do for your latest birthday? Well, you see... I... Played Fallout 4? Probably. I didn't even remember it was my birthday. My last birthday, I went to school and then went back and played on my new Xbox 360. <laughs> Which sounds weird, because now it's just on my shelf, doing nothing. Nah! <laughs> uh, what holidays do you celebrate? Are you a religious person? This is so boring! Why were you- That's an ask, like, do you think the Mexicans should be prosecuted for existing? And then we can have, like, a philosophical debate. Even though it's we're on the same side. Philosophical. I'm pretty sure it's just ethical that, that all Mexicans that, should be killed. Is that ethical? Is it ethical, Jack? To kill every last Mexican on Earth. Mm-hmm. Is it ethical? Oh, do you know what I think when we were yeah, under, under, like one of the last days of school when we were under the building and Miss Banjo came and she was like, get on that out of there! And then the lane was like, but... We, um, the, one, another teacher said it was okay, and then this bastard, she, um, said there's no sign saying to go under there, and the lady says there's no sign not to get under there. Remember that bit thing, thing, that thing? Yeah, but now that I think about it, it's not that much of a feat. Is it, is it not? Not really. I mean... Like, she sort of has a point. If you think about it. It's her job. Yeah, I understand it's her job. But another teacher was like, oh yeah, that's fine. So what? Well, it's contradicting. It's I don't like it when teachers contradict <gasps> each other. To a certain extent, yes. But teachers are humans as well. They have their own standards. Only the good teachers have are humans. The other ones are just cybernetics that they employ. Does your butt breathe? Yeah, every time I search, go into search on YouTube. Bloody hell. I'm bored. <laughs> Should we end it off there? I don't know. I think there's something we need to find. Okay. Mm, funny podcast things. Listen to top 10. Okay, so do you like top 10 discussions? Top 10. <gasps> I know. What's that game called? Bollocks! Beat the bomb? Not the, the bomb game? Yeah, we need to get that game. It looks like fun. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Um, 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 what about, 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 what about. You want an icy ball? Now? We have we have tons in the fridge. Easer. For Jesus. For Jesus. For Jesus Christ! I started watching Sherlock. What do you think of it? It's bloody excellent. <laughs> you would dislike something or you love it. What's something um, that you d don't dislike but you don't hate? Well, I mean, the that's new the James same thing. Bond movie. So you had no like negative things feelings, so you didn't have any positive either. It's more on the bad side of things. Really? You didn't like Spectre? No. But then, you know what I did freaking love that first sequence. It was just so cool. So you you had high hopes at the start. I did. Anyway. But come on, Hollywood, Let's cut the stupid, freaking. Useless female characters mean nothing. Oh my god, you're such a misogynist. Misogynist? How am I? <laughs> what? Could you please think before you speak? I don't do that. Yeah. Then you can see how that, what you said could have been put out of context by some crazy person. What? You like, get rid of the useless female actors. Even though I understand what you mean by characters, I said. Yeah. You saying that women can't Star be Wars got it right. Yeah, they got it good. Mad Max got it right. Yeah. Mad Max is my movie of the year. 
I have to say, of mm. 2015. What do you think is the most ethically, like, a movie that could be, to some people, really offensive and then to others, absolutely fine, that you've watched and liked? Because um. I was thinking in Mad Max, you say that they got the women part of it right. Well, some people, like, might disagree since they were, like, sex slaves. No, but the movie was about getting rid of that shit. Yeah, I know, I know, but that's how... I'm not saying I think that, I'm just saying some other people might. Who would? I don't think it's a very... There's a lot of people out there that have weird opinions. Yeah, well, some people were saying that Mad Max was, like, feminist propaganda. Really? Yeah. Just because, you okay. know, Mad, um, Ma- Max himself was, like, wasn't, like, the main focus point of the movie. I haven't watched the other Mad Maxes. It, it was so- oh, yeah. I've seen number they two. Should've... It was pretty good. I, I, I saw, like, at the start, I think they should have concentrated a bit more and he was just a bit... No, but that's the point. That's the point of Mad Max. Hmm. If you'd seen the previous movies, then... The first one actually explains it quite a bit on what actually happens, but... Like, why he goes insane and stuff. Yeah, but other than that, he's a pretty silent protagonist. Is there such thing as, a, like, a good insane person? Like, they are insane and dangerous, but they have good intentions? Yes. Because I don't see that in movies. I don't see the insane person trying to help them, but they are insane. <laughs> I saw a movie from the... I'm pretty sure it was from the 90s. A movie called Falling Down. It was pretty much a guy who had just completely lost his mind. And he just walking through... I'm pretty sure it was Los Angeles. Just complaining. But in, like, really extreme ways. Complaining about modern day inconveniences. Mm-hmm. Like, um... Like, a couple minutes has, had passed since the the breakfast serving at, like, a fast food yeah. restaurant. And he freaking hold, he holds up the place, like, with a gun. <laughs> but, like, the thing is, is that, like, he doesn't kill anyone unless, like, they really piss him off. Like, there was this neo-Nazi guy. And, like, the guy was, like oh my god, what you're doing is completely wrong, you know, hating on all these, like, gay couples that walk in on, in the store, and he's like, then, like, the guy, like, shoves a knife, he's like, get down on your hands and knees, and he's like, no, and then he like, turns around and stabs him! <laughs> Wait, the insane guy? Yeah, he, like, does some sick manoeuvres, and then he gets a rocket launcher, and then, like, because, um... And tries to rocket jump? No. Uh, he was held up in a traffic jam because, um, <laughs> um, Aww. and, uh, cause there was like construction and like, he asked the guy, what, what's going on here? Why, why, um, why holding up the place? Why is there so much traffic? And he's like, oh, I can't tell you. And he's like, why don't you tell me? And it turns out they're not doing it just cause they want money from people more taxes, this money, and, like, they're doing it for no reason. So the guy gets the rocket launcher, <laughs> shoots it down the sewerage, and, like, the sewer, and he's just, like... And, like, this little kid helps him out. He's like, oh, what movie are you playing in? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and he, shoot, he shoots a rocket, and, like, he's just like, whoa! And, like, you see him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, What's what movie like? is this? Falling down. Michael Douglas, I'm pretty sure. Falling down. <laughs> I didn't get very good reviews, but I really liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Sometimes I, like, really wonder if, like, review sites are that accurate. Because sometimes they, like, rate a really bad movie. Like, really high scores. Mm. Like what? What was it? I can't remember in particular, but there have been movies in the past that I've seen just purely on Google reviews. I went, it was just, wasn't entertaining. 
What movie? Let me think. Can you at least like tell me the plot or whatever? No, I'm just trying to think of a movie because I know it's happened. I just can't remember in particular what event this was. Like there was a movie called Jumper which I enjoyed and it got really bad reviews. And it wasn't a great movie, but it wasn't a bad movie. Yeah. You know, things like that. Mm. Or when they get the wrong demographic to view the film. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you seen the Grand Budapest Hotel? I haven't actually. It's very good. Yeah, I've, you've raved about it a lot in your life. I have. I have a strange appreciation for movies that not many other people would have. But then you find, like, the new big things. Like, the new movies that are going to become successful. Do you want to play Fallout? I do really want to play Fallout. <laughs> okay, let's play Fallout. Bye, guys. Because those podcasts go on to the movies and... Wait, wait, yes, down. exactly. Oh, wait, one hour and one minute. I thought it was exactly one hour. Never mind. It's dead to Bye.